Hey, this is Alex from Prism here to review the Bamboo Skateboards Indra True Root Longboard. The Indra is from a series of boards by Bamboo called True Root with 12 different graphics available in the collection. Stock it comes complete with black Tracker Fast Track 180mm trucks, white 70mm 78A undertow wheels, ABEX 7 runner bearings and speed rings, quarter inch hard risers, one and a quarter inch hardware and clear grip. The deck itself is a 44 inch long pintail shape that is 9.5 inches at its widest point. It's built from a hybrid of bamboo and maple, having three bamboo plies and two maple plies. It has a generous 31 inch wheelbase, allowing for quite a bit of stability while riding. We've already reviewed Tracker's fast track trucks in a previous video, so I'll keep it simple. The hangers are 180mm wide, raked, and both the hanger and base plate are cast. The large bushings give it a lot of rebounds, so carving is a breeze, and the bushing seat is universal in case you want to upgrade down the road. While the stock complete comes with wide undertow wheels, the same as seen on many of Bamboo's other longboards, we're actually able to get a recent addition to the lineup sold by Bamboo, Shark Wheels. Shark Wheels are specially engineered for smooth rolling on rough pavement and designed to excel in wet conditions. They have fast acceleration and draw attention anywhere you go. The bearings are your average bearings, ABEX 7 machine bearings with yellow rubber shields to keep dirt and grime out, making so you won't have to clean them quite as often. The hardware are matte black flathead machine screws that countersink the deck to make it so you never feel your hardware against your foot. The bolts are secured with nylock nuts like any other set of hardware. Nothing special here. The risers are added to allow you to run a broader range of wheels without the risk of wheel bite. This of course raises the ride height a little, but no more than any other top mounted board. The grip appears to be the same brand found on other bamboo longboards and allows you to see the top ply well enough to make out larger graphics. It's grippy enough to keep you locked on for hard carving and doesn't appear to wear quickly. At some point you may have to replace the grip, which you can do for fairly cheap at almost any local skate shop. On to the personal review. The board rides very smoothly since it has a lot of flex. The flex dampens the ride to make it so you can almost bounce out of turns. Since it's a hybrid board, it has a certain stiffness to the flex too, almost a controlled level of flexing until it bottoms out at some point. It's rather large for a longboard and as such weighs a bit more than other boards. If you're looking for a campus riding board, you may want to look at one of Bamboo's mini cruisers as they're smaller and more portable. Given its large wheelbase, it can't make super tight turns, but can handle higher speeds carving comfortably. Overall, the deck is a great cruiser or carver and could be comfortably used for long distance pushing or even commuting. Its size is potentially the only negative since it's just such a well, long board. But if you love the classic pentail shape and don't mind feeling like you're surfing the streets, this is the board for you. The link to the product page of this board will be in the video description. And if you want more information on Bamboo Skateboards, you can go to BambooSkateboards.com to check out all of their other sustainably made, eco-friendly boards. Remember, skateboarding is a dangerous sport, so you should always wear the proper safety equipment and skate within your limits. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out Bamboo Skateboards for more awesome bamboo products.